graduation, we have such a, an important college football night, so dads, we really appreciate it. And the rabid moms that are out there who are FSU fans, I guess. Yeah, we're supposed to say go knows and somebody's going to give us a hundred dollar donation. So, go knows. Uh, if you have a cell phone, during this half, we would appreciate it if you put it on silent. And during the second half, it won't matter if we so loud, we'll never hear it. <laughs> if you have a fussy child, uh, we're recording this part of it, so if you have a fussy child, feel free to redirect their attention to the lobby where there are snacks and bathrooms. Second half, it won't matter, they'll be too scared to leave. This is, uh, this is our band department's gift to the community every year. Uh, it's something that got started 20 years ago. We've done it every year except one. The year that we went to the Macy's Parade, we could not get this in on a weekend when this facility was open before we left to go to, to uh, New York. Uh, if you haven't heard, sure you have. But if you haven't, we're going back to Pasadena a year from this January to March in uh, Rose Parade again. Proud of that, especially on the, the tail end of COVID and everything, and the, the curveball that that threw everyone. So we felt really fortunate to be invited back to that. Uh, the group you see before you here is our Jazz One. Uh, the group meets every day uh, during third period. We're blessed enough to have two full-time jazz bands at Nice One, uh, and this is our top group, and they are under the direction of a very talented and very kind and gentle and sweet Mr. Machinori. We welcome him to the stage, please. All right, please rise and play our national anthem. Sounds of the Stadium last year, just out of curiosity. 
Great. How many of you, this is your first time or you haven't been a little bit? Well, welcome back or welcome. Uh, this will be very different in the beginning. Um, we did something last year with this group that called for a lot of audience engagement and it was such a hit that we wanted to do it at least one more time. So, I think this is the only time in the year that a band director gets to say this. You will need your cell phones tonight. Please get out your cell phones. Because, if you notice, there are no programs for tonight. So some of you might have been wondering, well, the band sounds great, what are they going to be playing? In short, I don't know. We've prepared ten charts, and you all are going to actually decide what we're going to play tonight via these devices. Ms. Molina, our assistant director of bands, is back in the booth, and she's going to be handling this thing that you called Kahoot, where you all are going to be able to choose between two options, and we'll play whatever one gets the most votes. So, Ms. Molina, if you will put the projector on and So what you're going to see in a moment, once it loads up, is on the top there's going to be a QR code. You're going to need to go into your phone's camera app <laughs> as soon as it shows. Oh, it's the curtain. Can we get the curtain a little higher up? Oh yeah, look at that. It's right there. <laughs> so by the way, I don't know if you all know this, but anytime you try to use technology, something is going to go wrong. So, the fact that it's the curtain, that, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Alright, drum roll please. Drum roll, drum roll. Let's see if this works.
by the way, for what's worth doing a chart that fast, that early on the in the year, is nothing short of incredible. So let's give them another hand for that. All right, Miss Melina, what's up next? All right, get ready. Do you want to hear a happy tune with some trombones that sound like they're hiccuping, or a little something for Veterans Day? You have 20 seconds. Let's see. For what it's worth, I do know the trombones really want to show up with any skills, but don't worry, there's another time to use them. So this is another two from the Kansas City Suite. It's just a happy-go-lucky chart you'll see. It's kind of one of those ones that will kind of just have you sway side to side. And you'll hear the hiccuping thing very quick. In fact, trump uh, trombones show the mutes that you're going to be showing. Those are bucket mutes. Everyone go. All right. This is from the Kansas City Suite meeting time.
Miss Melina. All right, time to feature some people. Which group should we choose? Do you want to feature two trumpets, or do you want to feature the trombone section? Are you biased towards the trombonist tonight? Or are you going to give the different section some love? I don't know. For what it's worth, the two will be Mr. Tommy and Mr. Ramon. Now that might dissuade you, I don't know. Or all of the trombone section. Let's see. Five more seconds. I'm curious about this one. Trumpets and dance. All right, come on down. Okay, getting away from the Kansas City Suite, this is from one of the most iconic uh, Count Basie albums. Um, probably ever recorded, this is from the Atomic Basie album, and this is going to feature both um, Mr. Tommy Roberts and Mr. Ramon Cruz on trumpet um, with a special mute sometimes referred to as a wah wah mute, it's also known as a harmon mute, so you'll hear that kind of characteristic sound. This is from the Atomic BC album, an aptly named duet.
By the way, that's about as mischievous as they get. Oh, we're gonna hide some sunglasses. Bring them out. <laughs> All right. All right. So you heard a lot of swing. Do you want to stay on swing, or would you like to hear a chop chop chart? Now, if you do stay on swing, we'll feature our footballists, our football players in the band, Ramon and Stone. But if you're feeling a different character, go ahead and change it up to Chop Chop. So, Van, which one do you want them to choose? I'm just curious. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see, let's see. Shocking. All right, we want to change it up. Okay. So, something totally different. Um, just so you know, usually in the high school setting specifically, we spend a lot of time on swing style throughout the first semester because it's such a difficult style to master. And as you can hear, they're doing a phenomenal job on it. So I felt like this year, absolutely. So I felt this year, it was, it was um, worth it to start delving into the other styles of uh, jazz sooner. And one of these charts is actually a chart that we played one time for a small gig last year, and we just loved it so much. The style was just so fun that we wanted to bring it back. So this is Tito Puente's, if you know that name, Tito Puente's arrangement of bobbles, bangles, and beads. Yeah, 
to end this set with some earth, wind, and fire. So, like I said, since this group has been so hard working in the past two years, we were able to build into more styles, and this will be another um, deviation into a different style. This is going to be funk. And how many of you know Earth, Wind, and Fire, the group? Okay, you will most assuredly know this song. You might have played it in high school band at some point, I'm sure. So, this is going to be the jazz band arrangement of In the Stone.
John. Love you. Ah, oh, look at that, look at that. This isn't rigged at all, I promise. Okay, so long and short of it is, both of the last two tunes were just so fun that we couldn't help but want to play both. So we're going to now play the other chart that you all will know, maybe not by name, but definitely when you hear the drums, you'll be able to recognize this pretty immediately. It's, it's been commercialized and popularized um, for a long time now. And you'll get to hear that other instrument, which is soprano sax. That is an instrument that doesn't get, you know, it's an instrument that doesn't get used a lot, uh, depending or not if you're Kenny G, but it's a cool sound, and we're just going to show you the difference between all the saxophones uh, as you all. Yeah, we're like, oh, good, okay. So, here's what a berry sax sounds like. Tenor sax. Alto sax. And finally, soprano sax. Did we just do that so Jamie could warm up on a different horn? Maybe, but it still worked. All right, so here's one of the most iconic jazz standards. Um, you've, I'm sure you've heard it. This is Sing, Sing, Sing.